Good morning and God bless you. We're delighted to have you with us here this morning. Maybe this is your first time tuning in and joining us. We extend a warm welcome to you and trust you're blessed with what you hear today. We want to begin with prayer. We want to continue to pray for our nation and our world. We want to pray for Cornerstone Pentecostal Church, and we are advising you that you pray for your congregation and your pastor. And lastly, our brothers and sisters around the world. Maybe you have a special and spoken request. Perfect time to make that known unto God. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We praise you. Thank you for the abundance of all things. Father, I pray for our nation and our world that is in chaos. But God, I am believing you for a great and effectual door of utterance that is being opened up to our world. God, I also pray for Cornerstone Pentecostal Church. I pray that you'll open up the windows of heaven and pour out your favor and blessing. And lastly, our brothers and sisters around the world that you'd furnish each and every one of them with a hedge of protection. We ask all of this in the name of Jesus and everybody said, amen. One verse of scripture, Hebrews chapter 6 and verse number 10. But for God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Now, many years ago, I felt that God was giving me something to share with um, our staff and our leadership here at Cornerstone. And I wanna share just a little bit of that in this devotional this morning. I simply want to entitle, entitle this, Sparkle and Fade. Sparkle and Fade. Um, this, that title and the body of this was born out of a desire to talk to our secondary leadership and our staff here at Cornerstone about the times of transition. Um, I have been pastoring now here at Cornerstone for a little over 30 years. And one of the things that I feel like has been a real passion of mine in my pastoral ministry has been the development of secondary leadership. We have, um, and we're very blessed here. It's, it's just been God, but we have a huge volume of um the laity of the congregation that is involved in some area and in some cases in more than one area in this congregation. Um, I remember many, many years ago, um, this is a home missions church. We started from scratch and the very first department that we had was Sunday school. Um, and, and it was, at first, it was just the best that we could do. You know, you have people that are visiting. Um, we have people that were visiting our very small congregation and they wanted to get the most out of the service and we wanted them to get the most out of the service. So Sunday school was the very first department. Boom, you know, put your, put your children, your children are allowed to go over here. We got a room right across from the room that we were leasing, and that was our very first Sunday school program. And, and basically, it was very crude and very primitive and very elementary, but it, it gave us the opportunity to minister to parents and for parents to be able to give their undivided attention uh, to the ministry of the Word of God and, and the Spirit of God. That was... That was about 30 years ago. And through the years, with every 
every new um, Sunday school director um, that was putting their influence and putting their ideas and their burden and their passion into operation, there has been a constant succession of going up, 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 up. And I can honestly say that we have had, we've been very blessed to have very, very qualified and godly people doing that. But with every single leader, regardless of, of the department. Maybe maybe I'm talking to somebody. Maybe there's somebody that's watching. You're, you're sitting there um, at the kitchen table or maybe even your living room. You have your cup of coffee. Your Bible's open. You're watching this devotional. At some point, it will be a time of transition. And I... I really believe that that is, in some ways, that can be one of the most important times at the time in an individual's ministry or directorship or whatever the case may be. Whatever, whatever form of leadership that they are in, that I don't think that you can say well done until you have a good transition. Through the years, um, I have noted that people will come into a particular position and they will claim ownership. I want to tell you, in my opinion, in my pastoral opinion, that is absolutely you, what you want. You want somebody that is bringing into that particular department or into that particular position, um, whatever it might be, you want them bringing all that they have to the table, their passion, their desire, their goals, their vision, um, et cetera, et cetera. Taking ownership during the time of your place in that particular department is what it's going to, it's what it's going to take for that to be a total success. It cannot be casual. I know here at Cornerstone that I've just seen the transitions over the last, and, and some of the departments, they start out, they're very primitive. Um, it's not, it's not well-defined. It's not, you don't have a lot of resources to put into that, but you know because you have people that there is a need there and you do your best and you just watch it take form. There are people that are greatly used to give it form. There are people that are greatly used to bring in content. There are people that are used to take it to the next level. There are people that are used to bring um, a higher level of just bringing in outside resources that maybe they use in another place or they have seen in another place. And they're bringing all of these resources, supernatural, natural, educational. They're bringing all of these resources to the table. And I have seen where the various departments in Cornerstone Pentecostal Church have gone to be very primitive, to being very successful, to where you have staff, you have qualified, godly, responsible people that are not in leadership but are participating in that particular department under a leader that has brought a lot to the table and has taken ownership. So I'm using that term ownership only within the perimeters of coming in to that department and when it's time to leave. The reason why I've entitled this Sparkle and Fade is because while you are in the driver's seat, while you are in leadership in that particular area, whatever it may be, shine, sparkle, um, inspire, encourage, be a leader, be all that you can be. But with the same desire and burden and spirit, spiritual recognition of the responsibilities that are attached to coming into that position, you also need to comprehend the spiritual responsibilities 
of going out graciously and fading. I have... I have seen enough of these, and I don't mean to sound so redundant as though I'm a know-it-all on this because, ladies and gentlemen, I am not a know-it-all, but I really, I really have a passion for this, and I really felt to talk about this. The same desire and focus and acuity and ability and everything that brought you to the place of stepping up, we also should exercise that in stepping away and now allowing your successor to begin to shine and to sparkle as you fade, understanding that you played your part. In a, in some of these ventures that take place in leaving the atmosphere and going into these great solar destinations, whether it's the James Webb telescope or it's the Apollo 11 to the moon, A great rocket that is going the distance has got different stages. There is a booster to get it out of the atmosphere. And then there are other rockets that are used to keep it um, on track. And then there are other rockets that are used to get it off the moon and to get it back home. Every single one of those stages are needed for a successful mission. And so everybody plays their part. There are people that I'm thinking of in my memory that were very, very early on when we were still getting spiritual formation as a congregation. We were still getting focus and direction as an apostolic home missions church. And there were people that did not have a lot to work with. We didn't have a lot of resources, but they were absolutely critical to get us from that place of just beginning to get some form to the next place where we had more resources, more form, more abilities to do more and to help get more definition to that particular department, so on and so forth. And I am very thankful for everybody that has played their part. But this is what's important. When you leave your department, Your your life in God is not over. Your usefulness in God is not over. I think it is dangerous, uh, not in a salvific way, but just in a peace of mind and, and, and understanding the bigger picture that we become associated so much with a particular department or a function within a congregation that we feel hopeless and maybe lost, not not in a salvific way, but just we don't know what to do with ourselves now that we're no longer um, cleaning the church, turning the lights on, ushers department, Sunday school, um, bus drivers for outreach, whatever the case may be. You filled a very valuable role and had the blessings of God on your life. There's always something else for you to do. And we need to understand and recognize, I really believe that although we take ownership of a department, we also need to understand that to everything there is a time and there is a season. And I'm I'm only able to give what I can give physically, mentally, spiritually, and be at the top of my game. Moving from that slot to another place in life or to another position or to another department is very important that I understand that my usefulness in God is not over. I sparkled while I was here and I thank God for the opportunity, but now somebody is coming in behind me and I'm going to fade and now I'm gonna let them sparkle. And I'm going to find another place where I can sparkle again. Let me finish with my text. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and your labor of love, which you have showed toward his name, in that ye have ministered 
to the saints and do minister. Sparkle and fade. Come into your place, sparkle, take ownership, put everything into that that you can. But when it's time to go, fade graciously and allow your successor now to sparkle. God bless you. Trust has been a blessing to you. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow.